Girl Talk Apologetics would like to extend an invitation for you to join our Women's Online Apologetics Book Club. Beginning August 10th, co-hosts Anne, Susan, and Patty will begin a new book discussion for the book Finding Truth by Nancy Piercy. We are thrilled to be joined by the author on September 28th, where book club participants will be able to ask their questions. Come explore with us the truth in Christianity. Seekers welcomed. To sign up or learn more, visit our website, www.girltalkapologetics.com and invite a friend. Hello everyone, today's video is a little bit different. Um, if you're new here, maybe you're not aware that I co-host a book club that meets online through Zoom. And it's a book club for women. And if you're a guy, please don't stop listening because I would love for you to be informed as well and also to help out and I'll explain how later. Um, so this book club um, has been going on for over a year now and we have the goal of getting more women interested and educated on the topic of apologetics and you know what i'm going to share on in this video is mostly my own views um, my own perspective there are two other co-hosts um, that help lead girl talk apologetics that's the book club's name so you know they might contribute their um, other views kind of about the vision of the book club, but what I'm going to share is just some of my own personal thoughts on our book club. And so we have a new book uh, series that begins, um, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday, August 10th. And I would love for um, my viewers on this channel to join me um, as we read the next book together. It usually takes like a couple of months for us to go through a book and so we, um, we meet, we do the reading ahead of time and we come together, we discuss, we ask some questions, we share maybe some experiences, um, we ask questions, um, things that need to be clarified that were not so clear. That is a time where it's not just that we are forming a community, um, but we are learning together. And um, I also want to emphasize that we are a community. The book club started because um, there were three of us that we felt like we really would enjoy being a part of a community where we would share the same interests, which is reading apologetic books, because at the time we felt that there was no community where we could do that, especially as women. So it's been a really um, amazing experience to be able to get to know different women and hear their stories and just also share in their excitement of learning some of these things often for the first time and it's also nice because you do have some women that are more experienced when it comes to apologetics and then they can help the rest of the group you know with some resources and things like that and so it's like we all benefit from each other um and so this is the book that will be reading um, we alternate so each of the hosts chooses the book that they would like our group to read next and so i'm not too familiar with this book but i am familiar with <clears throat> the author and i said i said that because um, i just wanted to share that it wasn't my pick this time around um, so unfortunately, I can't really tell you too much about the book. 
itself, but I do know that this author is just excellent. I've been following her around <laughs> on social media for some time now, and she's so intelligent, so insightful, so relevant to our culture. I do know that she's a former agnostic, <clears throat> and she comes highly recommended. Um, her book comes highly recommended by a lot of the authors that we have already had on our um, book club. The special thing about a book club is that <clears throat> we read the book, we discuss it, and then at the last discussion, um, we have been able to get the author to join us. And so the ladies will, um, we gather their questions and then the hosts ask the, their questions at the end um, of, on that last discussion. So I feel like you come to our book club, you get to, you know, join this online community, which is really convenient. You don't have to participate if that's not something you feel comfortable, but you can listen, right? And um, um, so you also get to um, meet these really amazing apologetics, um, authors almost in person right in zoom um in a special way and you get to ask questions you get to hear them interact with your questions and also you get to be a part of this larger um thing because part of our book club is um we do um enjoy providing that um, Zoom meeting with the author, um, just we, we do close it up to only the book club participants, the people that have been coming week after week discussing the actual book, right? But <clears throat> we do like to open up um, in the sense of we record that gathering with the author and we do make it available for everyone, guys included. So, um, we share the, that um, on our website, girltalkapologetics.com. We share it on a YouTube channel, on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So uh, if you're a guy, I feel like you can participate by watching those videos, um, sharing those videos. Um, and also, you know, if you're a guy and you really enjoy apologetics and maybe you wish your wife or like just your friends that are girls, that are women, um, would like, you kind of wish that they would be introduced to that kind of uh, topic. That's where you come in and that's where you can um, spread the word about our book club. And you make a difference. You are helping us in our mission by getting the word out and helping um, more women to become more involved in apologetics. Um, the book... If you're interested, um, I'll share the, um, the contents topics um, just to give you a little more of details about this discussion in particular. So it's divided into three parts and the first part is going to be about, um, and it's in quotation marks, I lost my faith at an evangelical college. So really interesting topic right away, right? because you do hear a lot of stories about people losing their faith in college. <clears throat> okay, and then part two, it's going to go over five principles. So I'll just read the five principles. Twilight of the Gods, how, I don't know how to say this name, Nietzsche? <laughs> I'm gonna learn that. I'm gonna learn how to say his name at this book club. Wins, <clears throat> secular leaps of faith, why worldviews commit suicide, Reloading atheists. And part three is how critical thinking saves faith. Okay. And you know what? I just thought about this. As although our mission is mostly uh, geared towards women, we're kind of letting you guys know about like good resources. And you know, it's it's just not just for women. This men benefit from this as well. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going to be looking into things 
um, about other worldviews and really like analyzing how Christianity is grounded on reality and comparing um, certain worldviews to Christianity. That's, that's what's really interesting about um, reading these apologetics books. And um, I, I feel like I wanted to say one more thing, but I forgot what it was going to be. So anyway, those are the topics. And I really hope to see more people register for this book club. It's one week away. So it's just enough time for you to order your book and join us. You can go to our website, girltalkapologetics.com and register there. And um, sometimes we're a little curious about um, who these new people are that are registering. So if you are registering because you heard um, me talking about um, this book club on my YouTube channel, let us know as you register that you heard about this book club through this YouTube channel. Um, that's it. I really, really am passionate about um, women learning about apologetics. I think it's so important. It's part of our walk with the Lord. Um, learning why we believe um, what we do. Um, learning how there are good reasons to support our faith. And most of all, I feel like this is something that I've heard many women express to me. Often you are engaging in conversations with unbelievers and you might find yourself at a loss for words. You might not know how to articulate like your beliefs in a, in a way that res, res, is um, responding to what they are saying to you. Like if they come back with with something you might just feel a little lost about how you would respond and so these book clubs really go into depth about those those type of questions those type of claims that are made against christianity and it's really going to help you to be able to better engage in those conversations and not just that but for yourself for you to really be confident in the faith that you have and see that it's not just it's not a blind faith that you have, but it's it's really grounded on on reality. And the thing that I had forgotten previously that I now remember is that um, this book club is open to seekers, and we really do our best to um, be sensitive about other people's views and where they're at in their spiritual journey. So if you are someone that is simply like genuinely looking um, to learn more about Christianity, um, you are welcomed. We actually have um, a couple of people that used to be atheists that um, share their experiences there. And so it's really ed educational for us uh, who might have been Christian all of our lives. It, it's, it's a way to be, um, I wanna say sympathetic, but there's a better word. Um, just for us to better understand um, where people are coming from and you know be less judgmental of them and really like really understand like their genuine um, views and where they're coming from like I already said so please consider uh, spreading the word sharing this video to a lady you think would be interested or would benefit greatly um, for to uh, from joining our book club and um, please give it a like leave me a comment if you have any questions leave them in the comments area and i'll answer those um and that's it thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you there bye